Alicia here. Welcome to my New York City studio apartment tour. I moved to New York City about three years ago after I graduated from college. When I first moved to New York City, I was living in a three bedroom apartment in Flatbush, Brooklyn that I shared with four other people. It was not ideal, but at the time I had a very low income paying job that only allowed me to afford renting a room in a shared apartment. Fast forward to now, I'm now on the correct career path and I have a really nice job that allows me to live 100% on my own. I moved into my studio about six months ago and I've been slowly decorating, so that's what I'm here to show you today. Studio apartments in New York City come in various sizes, price points, and conditions, and I feel very lucky to have found my studio apartment for a very decent size for a really good price. The rent for my apartment is rent stabilized at $1,450 per month, which is about $17,400 per year. The official rent for my apartment is actually $2,700, which is way above my budget. So I'm very happy that I was able to find my apartment at a rent stabilized price for only $1,450. My studio apartment is located in a beautiful neighborhood close to downtown Brooklyn, and I'm walking distance to just a lot of amazing places and sites, restaurants, and, you know, things of that sort. And I'm also close to six train lines, which is very good because, you know, we don't really drive in New York, uh, so I'm happy to be close to many different train lines. But that's enough rambling. Without further ado, let's just hop into this video. The first thing you see when you immediately enter the apartment is my virtual doorman, which is where I can talk to someone outside, listen to someone outside, and also put someone inside. Directly underneath that, I have a plant from Ikea. To the right of that, I have a bookshelf that I converted into a shoe rack. I mostly keep some of my nicer shoes on display here. They're mostly from Zara and Nike. On my top shelf here, I have a lucky bamboo plant because I like to have a dose of luck whenever I enter and exit my apartment. So this is what that entryway looks like once again, as soon as you enter the apartment. As you make your way through the entryway, the first thing you see as you enter the living space towards your left is the kitchenette area. In the kitchen and dining area, I have a black table that I got from Ikea. I also purchased four matching chairs to go with it. Behind the dining table, I have a storage rack that I also purchased from Ikea. My kitchen did not come with any drawers or counter space, so I placed my dishes up here after I washed them. Underneath that, I have where I place my silverware. And then I also have storage for some other kitchen stuff down there as well. Behind the table is the fridge, sink, and oven and stove. Above my fridge, I have the microwave, crock pot, blender, and toaster. And then, as you can see, I have lots of cabinet space, a pretty decent sized zinc, and a very miniature oven and stove. It is super tiny, but it gets the job done. Here is a full view of the kitchen area. The kitchen is actually my least favorite part of the studio apartment because on the street easy listing of this apartment, it said that it came with a stainless steel fridge and a stainless steel oven and so But as you can see, I have a white fridge and a white oven and stove. They are both very old and decrepit. They're probably the same fridge and stove that was placed in this apartment when it was first built in 1932. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like these have been here for a very long time. Overall, I am very happy and grateful that I do have working appliances in my kitchen, even if they aren't the ones I want. But in my next apartment, I will plan on having more updated appliances. A few steps left of the kitchen is my entertainment area. And when I say a few steps, I do mean it. One, two, three steps. I have a basic Roku smart TV that I usually just watch Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime on. And underneath the TV, I have a few of my plants. This one here is a ZZ plant. This one is a snake plant. And this one is a Chinese evergreen plant. And I don't know if any of you have plant experience, but basically I overwatered my Chinese evergreen and I think it's now dying. So basically, how do I get it back healthy? Do I just not water it anymore? 
or like I don't know what to do at all. Exactly one step to the left of the TV is the bed. I have a full size bed and it takes up about one fourth of the entire apartment. I have this nice bright yellow bed spread on it and underneath I have a tropical area rug. When I first moved in, I had all white decor. I had a white bed spread, a white rug, and also white curtains. But because the space is so tiny, I started to feel a bit cramped and depressed because there wasn't any life. So adding the bright colors with my decor just helped me to feel happier within my living space. Two steps from the bed is the mirror. I purchased this full length mirror from Ikea which I feel like adds more depth to the space because it sort of doubles it if you look in the mirror if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah this is the mirror and also just look at how cute these shoes are that I have on. In between the bed and the mirror is actually my closet. I put this curtain over the entryway because the original door somehow fell off the hinges shortly after I moved in so I just added this curtain to make it look more appealing to the eye. This is the closet when you first walk in. It's a pretty decent sized closet in my opinion. I have some clothes in a rack here, some clothes hanging up on hangers, a dresser back there. Above the closet there are some shelves and I just keep storage so extra covers. I have some book sacks here. This is my book sack from the intern at Google. The book sack from CBS News. I also have some storage things up here from when I first moved in. I'll just back up to give you a full view of the closet. I have to keep my laundry right here. It's a pretty big closet. Honestly, I think this closet is the size of the room in my old apartment. Like I could probably fit a full size bed in this closet. This is the view from inside of the closet. So you see it's behind the mirror and then you see sofa entryway kitchen and a bed right here when you exit the closet you see the sofa seating area and then right next to the sofa i have a lamp that i also have some plants on i purchased this sofa from ikea online and then put it together once it was here i love the color it's a nice anthracite Gray. I told you how the kitchen is my least favorite part of the apartment. My favorite part of the apartment is the sofa area. I literally do everything from the sofa. I eat here, I sit here, I sleep here, I watch movies here, talk to people here. I This is just so comfortable. The sofa is great. It's like the perfect length for me. I think it's like exactly the length wise. It's like my exact height. So I just fall asleep here whenever I'm just like hanging out here too long. So if you're ever at my apartment, which you're strangers, so you wouldn't be, but basically I spend 99% of my time on my sofa. Directly next to the sofa and right past the entryway is my bookshelf. On the top shelf, I have some books on cooking, career guidance, and feminism. On this shelf, I have some books on critical race theory. Here are a few of my accomplishments. I went to undergraduate at Bard College. I have a bachelor's in anthropology and also a bachelor's in film. I was a Posse scholar. I had full tuition scholarship to Posse to Bard. And then I graduated high school from IHS New Orleans. Underneath here, I have some of my film books and journals. This is my water bottle for the internet Google. Picture of my grandparents, the plant. And down here, I just have like some toys and games. Uh, I play squash, that's a squash racket. I'm learning how to play tennis, so I have tennis balls there, dominoes, connect for life. If you go back through the main entranceway, there are two doors towards the end of this hallway. One door is a storage closet, and the other door is a bathroom. Here is a final view of the apartment. Some things I didn't show you on camera that are in this apartment building is that we have an elevator, a mail room, a laundry room, 
and also a live-in super so those are just some other quick features of this apartment that I didn't show you on camera. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything about New York City in regards to finding an apartment, credit, rent, subways, literally anything, just leave your comments down below and I'll be answering those all for you. I'll also be posting a video on how to move to New York City or any city um, as well as just more content in general. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.